So welcome back and it's day 32 and we're looking at the area of work. This is a massive area yeah. and um, sometimes we can think that work isn't really on God's agenda. Mm -hmm. um, but right from the start of the Bible in Genesis, we see Adam and Eve being given this purpose of tending mm. to the world, to the created order. Um, and God um, sets them up. Um, basically to have this responsibility of mm. tending to things yeah. um, and when I think about this area I think about actually every person as we spoke about previously um, has a gift from God so yes. whether you are um, on church or church God wants to bless you mm -hmm. with a gift yes. um, and every person has interests, abilities, skills that God has given them as yeah. well um, to help them fit into a role, fit into a purpose mm. that they would bless other people. Yeah. So this area of work is actually a big deal to God yeah. um, and everyone gets to work in some way mm -hmm. or in some fashion. Yeah, and I guess l most people spend a really big proportion of their time at work. Yes. Don't they? And most of us do. And so I, it's really important that we use that time well to glorify God and... Um, Absolutely. I really like Colossians um, 3.23. Uh, my version, the NASB version, puts it this way. Mm. Whatever you do, do your work heartily, as for the Lord, rather than for men. Yeah. So that's whatever you do. You might yeah. be a stay-at-home mom, you might be a bus driver, you might be a teacher. Yeah. Whatever you do, you're doing it as though you're doing it unto God. God yeah. is your boss basically yeah. so it's about having integrity isn't it it's about mm -hmm. doing it um as though you're blessing god you, it's, yeah. it's god that you're you're serving mm -hmm. um as a waitress it's god yeah. that's your 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 you're cleaning up after when you when you're cleaning up after your kids yeah, um, yeah. it's it's a brilliant picture isn't it mm. actually this is really important yeah. um to god and i really like that verse because um it's really helpful on the hard days. In my experience in a job that I really didn't like and I was going through a hard time, knowing that it wasn't for them that I was doing the job, but it was actually mm. for God. And that change of mindset gives you the strength yes. to keep going and saying, Perhaps you persevere. it's not for them, I'm doing this for you, God. It's for your glory, so help me, Lord, as we yes. talked about earlier. I need to have integrity today. Because if, if we're not having integrity in the workplace, if we're gossiping or if we're doing a lazy job, and then people know that we are Christian or we're saying about Jesus, the two things don't quite match today. Mm -hmm. And that's not a great witness. Whereas if we remember, no, this is for you, God. I'm doing this for you. Um, we can find the strength through the Holy Spirit to keep going, um, to do our best, to do a great job, and that will bless our colleagues yes. and bring about that kingdom culture and that kingdom lifestyle that we talked about Absolutely. I love yesterday. Absolutely, that. Because um, that, that essence of kingdom culture and viewing all of life from a kingdom lens is so important. Mm -hmm. um, so with regards to work, when we enter into the workplace, we're mm -hmm. viewing it from the kingdom perspective that yeah. like God wants to bless Mm -hmm. the sucks of your colleagues yes. and your customers yeah. and your clients yeah. and your patients. Mm -hmm. um, he really wants to bring through you the fruits of the Spirit. So as we talk about yes. the fruits of the Spirit, yeah. love, patience, joy, um, kindness, goodness, self-control, mm -hmm. gentleness, all these um, flavors of God's personality, mm -hmm. He wants to bring that into yeah. your workplace. And how exciting is that? That no matter right. where you work, you can bring the flavor of God mm -hmm. with you. God is with you. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really helpful for people to know whatever job they do, whether they're with people or they're working on their own, mm -hmm. that actually you bring in those flavors, those, those mm -hmm. fruits of the Holy Spirit there to bless others and to bless the way you actually perform mm -hmm. your job role. Mm -hmm. I think in terms of my um, my work and what I've done, um, I've worked in different um, health um, care areas yeah. and in just being able to bring um, just the different the fruits of the spirit, having patience that I've looked back upon and thinking, wow, I can't believe I had such patience with that 
with that kind of personality that's, that's, that's kind of grinded on me yeah. um, and having that, that gentleness um, that's beyond the gentleness that I normally have yeah. um, I can look back and say actually God was working mm. in those moments um, and I think as Christians in a workplace wonderful. yeah we can we can bring the, the, the ethics of heaven the, yeah. the kind of the, the, the morals of heaven mm. um, into the workplace so having integrity yeah. um, not gossiping in the workplace or backbiting mm -hmm. and um, I think God can use us really strongly um, in situations where there is conflict as yeah. well perhaps between other colleagues um, or even between clients and, and staff. Yeah, brilliant. So I guess there's a challenge there. Why don't you ask God today to help you by His Holy Spirit to bring about the Kingdom through these fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Um, he's well <laughs> going to freely give it to you today. <laughs>